Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's now time for the drum head replacement and tuning video. So y'all stay right here. The one thing you want to look at when you're changing these heads or putting them on for the first time is check the bearing surface of the drum here. This is a very tip top and it should be nice and smooth. No gouges. No issues. Oh yeah, this one's good to go. Now, when you're putting a new drum head on, it's up to you how you want to place the logo. For me, I try to keep this towards the top of the drum just because you know, I'm a little bit anal about that. Check to make sure that it fits. And now comes a part that you're going to cringe. You have to break in the head if it's new. Are you cringing yet? As you can see, after you do it, it pops back into shape. What that does, it starts to bust the glue up along the side here so that it can relax once it's stretched onto the drum. So then we set it on, press a little bit, you'll hear it nice and creaky, creaky, creaky. All right, don't press too hard. Don't go, because you just might separate the little, the little solder bead here. If that happens, well, got to get another head. So now we put the ring on the drum, tone ring, uh, stretcher I've heard people call it. I just call it the ring, always have. Line up the screws or lugs as they're uh, called most of the time. And you're going to want to put these on hand tight. And now for the fast forwarding portion of the show. What I just checked there was to see if it was similar tension because believe it or not, even at this loose level, you'll hear a difference when you tap on it. So now that we got this all hand tight, it's down, head isn't moving, it's still nice and flappy. And you can pick whatever corner you want to start at, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you do this, 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 that, that, or some permutation. Always go opposite. From the one that you're on. So I'm going to start with one full turn on each of them. Okay. I'm going to go for another. Full turn on each. Now yeah, let's see what it sounds like currently. Close.
that's it in a nutshell. I mean, you can get things like a drum dial and do it by the numbers. Once you've assembled, assembled your drum set, you're going to end up pretty much doing what I just did, fidgeting around, fiddling around, finding it so it sounds good with a 10, with a 16, with a kick. It's got to fit in the kit. This is a very basic tune. We will fiddle with that when it's on the drum. Speaking of fiddling with drums. Well, there you go. That's how you replace the head of a drum and tune it to what I call a gross tune setting. That applies to any drum, whether it's a kick drum, a tom, a snare, doesn't matter. It's the same basic setup. There are other tools you can get to do that. So you can get the drum dials. You can get all the watch keepers and all this, that, and the other. But if it's too perfect, it doesn't sound right. Don't ask me why. It just doesn't. Now remember, drums, and to that matter, anything you do musically, it's got to come from here. It's got to come from the feel, not the CPU. Not this one. You know what I'm talking about. Say no to fake drums. I've just shown you how easy it is to replace the heads on these things and put new ones on or just swap them back and forth, which, trust me, you'll do. Go with it. Give it a shot. Don't be afraid of it. And hey, make a video, post it up here on YouTube. Let's see how you do it. So next time, I promise you, the next video is setting up the kit and demoing the kit with something new that I've recently acquired. You'll see what I'm talking about. Till next time, mahalo y'all.